In our last video, we discussed severe storms that moved across sections of northern Illinois Friday night. Over the weekend, the National Weather Service confirmed via damage survey that at least six tornadoes occurred across the area Friday night. An EF-0 in Newark to Lisbon, an EF-1 in Manuka, Shorewood, and Joliet, an EF-0 in Manuka to Shanahan, an EF-0 from the Medewin National Grassland Prairie to Wilton Center to Piatone, an EF-0 in Bradley to Kankakee, and an EF-1 in Moments. While these six have been confirmed so far, it's still possible that another one or two is added. A more common source of damage was from straight line winds, with over 75 reports of wind damage across northern Illinois. Overall, over 800 severe reports have been filed, and the thunderstorm complex will be classified as a derecho, as it produced wind damage for an over 600 mile long stretch. This was a very powerful thunderstorm complex, one of the most damaging of the year on a larger scale. One good thing is it did bring beneficial rainfall to everyone it affected. The good news is, is that things look to remain much more calm through the beginning of August. Last week, our pattern looked like this as we were under the influence of high pressure, which is why it was so hot. Near the edge of the ridge is where the thunderstorm clusters were, which we had several of last week. After the cold front responsible for Friday's derecho moved through, the entire heat dome has been pushed back southwest. This allows Illinois to escape the oppressive heat and humidity we saw last week, and keeps organized thunderstorm chances a bit south as well. However, southwestern Illinois may still be close enough to the edge of the ridge to be affected by some of these clusters through this week though. Looking at tomorrow, it'll be a few degrees warmer, as will each day this week. With highs in the low to mid 80s for most of us, rain chances will be confined to southwestern Illinois through Wednesday, outside of a pop-up shower or two. While not a sure thing, we will have to watch for statewide chances of thunderstorms by later this week as humidity looks to build back in into the region. Thanks a lot for watching, be sure to subscribe and like for new content.